Valentine's Day is just two weeks away and some are turning to the internet for help finding love. In this week's Fraud Watch, MTN's Mackenzie Frost explains some of the risks of online dating as well as the story of one prominent Montanan who was a victim to this type of scam. We've all seen them, commercials for an online dating service, and there are even dating apps right on your phone, all claiming to help you find the one. But scammers prey on your desire to find love, and if you aren't careful, you could be looking at more than just a broken heart. He ended up scamming uh, money not only from this woman <clears throat> in Indiana, but two women in Ohio, and we're talking about over $100,000. Montana Attorney General Tim Fox, the top law enforcer in the state, was a victim of an online dating scam a few years ago. A woman in Indiana was looking for love online. She came across a profile that was using Tim Fox's photos. They made a whole new profile, if you will, of a guy named John Tony Hagen. But the man on the other side of the screen was not the Attorney General or a man named John Tony Hagen. That it was a Nigerian national a 44-year-old man. Uh, he gave stories about uh, being on an international work trip and losing his, his tools or having them stolen and he needed money wired to him, uh, which these individuals did. Fox and these women are not alone. The FBI estimates that Americans lost more than $82 million in 2014 to these types of online dating scams. If you do venture into the world of online dating, here are some tips. You want to stay close to home, certainly don't share any financial, banking information, uh, social security number. Ultimately, online dating can be a great tool. Just be aware of the risks. And regardless if love is a possibility or not, Fox reminds everyone of one thing that could save you a lot of heartache. Never give any gifts or money to anyone that you've never met before. Mackenzie Frost, MTN News, Helena. The man who was using Tim Fox photos was later identified as Kazim Awanla and arrested on felony charges.